I love the beginning of a story when somebody says, you're never going to believe what happened. There's just something great about stories that seem incredible, but they are. I mean, for me, anytime I've animated characters at Disney, I've found that I'm really attracted to characters that believe the impossible is possible. I mean, a, a mermaid uh, that falls in love with a guy you know, walking around two legs, I mean, this is impossible, but she's gonna go for it anyway. With the beast that could believe that somebody's gonna see something inside of him that Belle could love him. I mean, this is impossible. But I, to me, that's what, what makes stories great. My dad in World War II uh, was a scout, uh, the first one to land on an island. And he would, in the South Pacific, he was supposed to draw the enemy uh, battle placements or wherever they were. And though that had the shortest lifespan of any person, if you knew my dad, I mean, you wouldn't put a gun in his hand. He's a cartoonist, he was a, a comic. Uh, he would entertain the troops with Don Knotts on the troop ship going to Australia. So he went there desperately trying to get out of that position to get a job on the Stars and Stripes newspaper to, um, so he could draw cartoons. That's what he loved to do. Um, so in the meantime, he was doing caricatures in the officer's canteen. And he would draw everybody from you know, that would come in and then they would put them up on the wall. But General Innes P. Swift uh, had heard that all, everybody was getting these caricatures done. And he called my dad into his office. And dad came in, Private Keen reporting for duty, sir. And uh, Innes said, oh, at ease, uh, Private. Look, I want you to do a caricature of me. And this is a tough guy. I mean, he, you see pictures of him smoking a cigar, driving a Jeep with his helmet. I mean, he's, he's a tough as nails kind of a general. And he says, I want you to do a caricature of me and not, don't pull any punches now, Keen. He says, well, okay. So he kind of, what do you want me to do? Well, just turn your head a little bit that way. Okay. And Dad was doing this drawing of him and um, finally, you know, he was done, but he didn't show the general. And Dad continued to f finish it up a little bit. And then they had, several weeks later, the grand uh, opening of this caricature, the reveal. It was covered in a piece of red cloth there. And uh, everybody gathered around. Uh, and the general was there at the officer's uh, club. And um, the moment came. And Dad pulled the covering off the caricature. <laughs> And there was just silence. Was like, and Dad had done this drawing of Innes P. Swift um, with these speed lines going into an outhouse uh, and the general running out of the outhouse. And then underneath it said, I. P. Swift. And the general just broke into laughter. Everybody else laughed around him. And it was, it was just this wonderful moment. Um, and so dad thought, okay, he likes it. And he talked to him, can you get me off of this ship? I'm supposed to go into this island and, and uh, I really want to get a job in Stars and Stripes. And General said, look, I can't even get you off right now. Uh, you are heading out tomorrow. So the next morning he gets onto the boat but then one of the boilers happened to explode, and so there was a little extra time, and the general was able to get the paperwork through. Dad got a job at the Stars and Stripes, uh, at the office in Brisbane, and the girl next to him was a, um, the one that was taking the insurance papers, and she was processing the, the soldiers who had been killed, and so many, uh, were killed in, on that invasion. Um, and uh, she would say to my dad, Did you, do you know this person? Dad said, oh really, he didn't make it? And this person, oh no. And, uh, and so they started to talk. That woman became my mother. And as they would tell me that story, it was like, I wouldn't have 
been here, if that boiler hadn't exploded, if you hadn't done that caricature. All of that happened because he did what he loved to do, drawing. And something in me just said, I want, I want my life to go that way, doing what I love.